Hi, it's Black Bright, um, broadcasting out of the UK, and I'm talking about Love Island this evening. Um, oh, I first have to say that I forecasted that Luke T, it would get out when he came back and said she got naked. I knew it was a mistake. I did say, and now I don't even know if she's going to forgive him. But I just knew that somebody would have to put the spanner in the works between those two. They were getting on too perfectly and people don't like that they don't like to see him with that sexy little Shanice so they had to put a bloody spanner in the work and make it you know it really pees me off I mean it's not like I'm kind of advocating interracial relationships but at the same token I reckon I reckon it really pissed them off to see Luke T with Shanice and she's so bloody sexy and beautiful. So they had to bloody go and put that in the news. I'm so bloody annoyed. It was so unnecessary. And then he said it so innocently. But there again, is it a big deal or is it not a big deal? Would he have said to them if they'd had sex, would he have said that as well? And the thing is, they keep on talking in this bloody love language. They better keep their mouths shut. Because if it gets out, what they're doing, whether they're talking in code or not, that it means it's definitely finished for all of them. Nobody wants to know that you're talking about what you're doing underneath the sheets. I mean, grow up. You're not bloody at school. And I can understand they're in that confined area. They haven't got much to talk about. You've got no TV, no football. So all you're going to talk about is what you get on with it in the house. I just hope that Luke T can pull it out of the bag and make it right with Shanice. Shanice, you can't romp with Shanice. You see her face? She is fuming. Anyway, I just had to get that out because... I'm bubbling. I am so upset that that came out, but I knew it would. And if he, if he had been aware of how sensitive that is, I mean, when you're with somebody and you're having a private moment, you don't want the world to bloody know, even though it's on TV. But we wouldn't have known if he hadn't have said. But you don't want people to know. She doesn't want her mum to know that she got under the covers and she got naked. You know what I mean? It's so unnecessary. Did anybody else come back and talk about it? What they were doing underneath the covers? And that bloody Mike with his gyrating. I mean, I don't even know what that was about. I guess he was just having fun. Maybe he's just playing around. But I just thought, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to come over as a bit of a prude. Maybe I'm being a bit of a prude. But he, he could have been just mucking it around. But I think I would have preferred to see him in a more, well, maybe a more tasteful light, a more romantic light. I mean, to me, it seemed as though he was advertising. He was doing it on the pump, you know, in that game. And then he's doing it in the bedroom. And I just don't think it's, ne I don't think it's necessary. Maybe it's just me, like I said, probably old fashioned. I just didn't think it was necessary to go on with that foolishness. I mean, she liked it. She thought it was bloody brilliant. She gave him 10 out of 10 for it. So I don't think that was a dance. But hey, we're all different. That's what makes the world go round, isn't it? Anyway, then you have um, Demi talking to Jamie and old oh, Natalia comes in and um, interrupts and takes him away and whisks him off. So I don't know what that's about. I don't even know if J Jamie would like Natalia. I don't think he would trust her. And I think it's a bit of a shame that Shauna doesn't like Jamie. I think Jamie probably likes Shauna. That's why he came to her rescue. But, you know, with her, she like. But mind you, I'm quite surprised she likes Lou Kem. Quite surprised she likes Lou Kem, but maybe she likes his stability. But there again, it can't be that, because Jamie came over a stable. And Lou Kem ain't a scaffolder. So, 
And they look kind of alike. I, I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand it. Maybe she just feels safer with Luke M because she knows him. But I don't know if Luke M would like Shauna. Mike thinks she'll eat him alive. I don't know. I don't think so much as though she'll eat him alive. But she does seem to be a bit too womanly for him. Even though she's young, she comes over as though she's quite, you know, too womanly. But we'll have to watch this space because somebody said that at work about Shauna and Luke M. And then the public in the newspaper said the same thing. I didn't see it coming myself. And I don't know what people are seeing that I ain't seeing, but I think they just want Luke M. Because Luke M has been mucked around and Sean has been mucked around, I think they just want to push them together. But I'm not sure if they're a match. I'm not convinced they're a match. I think Jamie, he's very mature. I think he would win better for Shauna. But I think Shauna likes men that she can control. And I think she sees Luke M as somebody she can control. That's what I think. But he's got a strong streak in him. Because I can't see why she would go for Luke M. Because if you think about Callum, Callum's got that kind of, um, kind of a softy, like, not soft, but, you know, he's like a, he, he comes over like a pushover then. He's got that kind of look, even though he's not, the way she was talking to him before, I mean, she was just being assertive. I mean, she wasn't bullying him or anything. She was just telling him what she needed or what she wanted. But it's like she's the powerful one. So um, I'm just wondering if she likes to take charge even though she, she, it appears that she wants the man to take charge, she seems to go for men who she wants to take charge over. Maybe I'm just looking too much into it, but it's just a thought. Um, what else did I want? Oh, Mike, when he knew he was going to go in the hideaway, didn't he look bloody hungry? I, sometimes, I don't know. Sometimes I think he overreacts. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't overreact, but I don't know. I think... He's such, he's such, he's a good looking man. He's got a great personality. He's educated. When he goes into these, um, these over exaggerated, um, you know, forms of excitement, that's the only way I can describe it. He gets over excited and it's not consistent. Number one, as a police officer, I would think you'd have an element of control and composure. And I know he's out of the police force. And maybe he's trying to show another side of the police force. But he just seems to be over and above everybody else in his excitement. And when he's going, oh, yes, oh, thank you, Jesus, oh, th whatever he was saying, thank you, God, thank you, God, for being in the hideaway. I mean... You know, to me, it's just, it's, I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't like picking on Mike, but there's something about him that just doesn't ring right. And I don't know what it is. I mean, the public think he's a game player. I'm not saying he's a game player. I'm not sure what he's about. I think he exaggerates and I think he's a, basically a decent guy but there's just something that's not quite with his he seems to be overly dramatic that's the word I was looking for okay Chen and Jess I thought they looked pretty good um together tonight you know yesterday I was saying I can't really see them together this evening I you know among all the penguins and the way they interacted I like that I could see them together so, yeah, they seem to be grooving. I like the way that Finn always carries Paige down the stairs. Car or up the stairs. He always lifts her up. She never has to walk up and down the stairs, from what I see. But are they in trouble now? I mean, I don't remember Finn. Oh, he did, didn't he? He did. Um, he was talking. Who was he talking to? I can't remember now. Was he talking to Natalia? 
Oh, Molly. No, he, yeah, he liked Molly, didn't he? Oh, shit, if that gets out and Paige hears, he's finished. Those girls, she don't rump. Yeah, he's in trouble because, yeah, he did. He was flirting with bloody Molly. I mean, I know for the most part afterwards, because what happened is, oh, yeah, Molly, he liked Molly, and so did Luke M. But Molly fancied um, Callum. And so that was the reason why Finn decided to stay, stick with Paige, and Luke T decided to stick with Shanice. If that ever gets out, that they realise they were second best. Because basically, if Molly had taken either of them, they would have gone, well, not Luke T, because nobody liked Luke T. But definitely, um, um, what's his name? Finn. He was out. He was about to dump um, Paige for her. Shame. I forgot about that. I tell you, the pages don't, the papers don't miss anything. So there's going to be a lot of ructions tomorrow night. What else? Um, take someone special just one a bit. Hmm. I don't know why I wrote that down now. Oh yeah, you know that was because when they went in the hideaway... And, you know, they was asking who who they wanted to go into the hideaway. And it's supposed to be a special moment. But really, it's just an excuse to have a bit. I mean, I've never... I mean, I don't get the impression that pe people go there to have sex. But I did read in one of the newspapers that they do use it to have sex. And I think only once I think somebody came back and actually admitted it. And I can't remember that. But that wasn't in this one. That was in a previous one. So I don't know if they do that. Um, and, I, and I'm going to be gutted if Shanice and Luke T don't make it. Because the way they are in the bed and the way they're so affectionate. Oh, he's got to be so careful with Shanice. You can't be blabbing. But, you know, they're young. Well, no, I mean, they're not really that young. I have to learn to respect moments. And treat them, you know, because some people, I think, well, in that in that scenario, people don't really value when a woman is with you and she does certain things with you and she's chosen you to do those things with. Some men, they don't value it. They don't see it as special. They just take it for granted. And I think with Luke T, he didn't see what Shanice gave him. That moment appearing in that beautiful bustier thing and giving him a dance and getting naked with him. I don't think he interpreted that as being a special moment. Where for her, it was extremely special and private. And for him to expose that, but it just goes to show you because if he's been with women who do that, who just jump in bed with him and take their clothes off, he's not going to see anything wrong with it. He's not going to see as, he's not going to think that what Shanice did was out of the ordinary and wasn't something you talk about. But it depends on their previous experiences. So I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that they make it through this challenge. This is going to be a challenge. So let's hope that he learns from this and he learns he learns that, you know, whatever she gives him is special. Um, I think Jamie's quite mature. I kind of like how he rolls, but I think um, he's a type of person. I think that's too, he's too good for the people in there. I think the women in there, like Shauna, they like people who are, not necessarily broken or damaged, but they don't seem to like wholesome people. So, um, Demi, I, I, don't, I, I don't get Demi at all. And she's got that little fake talk when she speaks to um, Jamie. I just don't like that. I think, and I don't like Natalia for Jamie either. I don't think the woman for Jamie has arrived yet. 
she hasn't arrived yet. But I think Jamie should get somebody else, Not none of that lot. Because I think he's quite a nice guy. He's mature. He's, got, he's level headed. Um, he's relatively successful. And I think, I don't think any of those girls, I think Shauna, no, she's all over the place. Her head's all over the place. I wouldn't be surprised if another scaffolder came in there. She'd go off with a scaffolder. It wouldn't surprise me, even though she said she wouldn't touch another one. Oh, weren't those penguins beautiful? Oh, that was a really nice date, that was. I thought that was really lovely and unusual. It's not something that you can re... It's not like... It's not something you're going to be able to do anywhere, is it? You're not going to be able to say... Like, if you came back to England, you're not going to be able to say, oh, I'm going to go off and look at some penguins. So that's a really special moment, and it was quite a unique moment. So I think that was quite a nice date. And Chad talking about building homes. He's another serious one. Building homes, and, you know, he's talking about her and him getting a home, and talking about family, and it can't wait to meet Eve, and, you know, her mum and his mum, and I'm like, what? Oh, where did all that come from? And there's something about Jess's face, her expression, that tells me she's not really interested. And I don't know, her words say something different. Her words say, oh, he's a nice guy and we're really getting on and we'll see how it goes. But her expression tells me She's not really interested. I think she's only interested in him maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe as a sexual conquest. I don't know. But I, she, I, she's definitely not interested in him, you know, talking about houses and all that kind of stuff. She weren't even the slightest, she weren't even excited. She was surprised. But, you know, he needs to slow down a bit. He needs to slow down a bit. And I think when men um, meet women, they... And they're excited about them. I don't think they look at the women. I don't think they do. I think they see what they want to see. And I think with Chet, if he was studying Jess, he would check her response and her response isn't very warm. You know, the kiss is forced. forced well, in my eyes, it seems quite forced. And it's very measured. It's not like an elongated kiss. It's like, oh, he says he wants to kiss, so I'm going to kiss him and, you know, get it out of the way kind of thing. It doesn't strike me as an intense, passionate, warm kiss that they have. So I'm, not, I'm still not convinced. At one point, I was kind of thinking, yeah, when they were leaving the villa and going out to the penguins, and there was something that they did, and I thought, hmm... Yeah, maybe there is something. Maybe they do have something. Up to the point when he asked to kiss her. And then when he asked to kiss her, I thought, hmm. And when he was talking about the lands and the houses and what he wants to build, you know. But maybe she's just poker-faced. Maybe she doesn't express herself. Maybe she's one of those type of people who keeps it all in. And she might really like him. And she might really be excited. But it doesn't show. So maybe there's that. We'll have to wait and see. Um, so far my predictions have been quite on point. But you never know. Oh yeah, and all that language of love. Bread and toast and avocado and avocado. They better be bloody careful. Because if those girls get wind of them bloody talking their business inside the villa. They're going to be on the chopping block. So they better find something else, something else to talk about. Um, let me see what else. Shauna liking Luke M. That's a turn up for the books. And like I said, you know, one of my mates at work said that today, actually. And I'm like, Luke M. and Shauna? Mm -mm, I don't see it. I don't see it. Um, Paige and Jamie. Yeah, Paige was giving Jamie a bit of an interrogation about, I mean, she's got her man. So why is she asking him if he's been faithful and all that, when's his last um, girlfriend and all that, what's it got to do with her? I thought that was a bit weird. Oh, you know, yesterday I was saying that Paige and Jamie, remember? Now, supposing 
she gets pissed off with Finn because she finds out about him and Molly. Ooh. And then she decides to link up with Jamie. Ooh. Now, I think those two would be a reasonable match. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? What else is there? Um, Sean had never looked too bad. Yeah, Sean didn't have her makeup on today. And I think maybe yesterday was a bit of a shock. But today she never looked too bad. I mean, she still looked a bit, I don't know. She just didn't look as bad as she did yesterday without the makeup on. You know the good thing about those fillers though, those guys get to see them in all shades and in all in all you know, in all their glory and without their glory on. So they're under no illusion what they look like. And I think that's a good experience, isn't it? I mean when you're with somebody with twenty four seven, you do get to see every aspect of them without makeup, without their hair done, you know, dressed up, not dressed up. So I think that's a very good thing because they when they get to know them, they get to know the natural self. So I think that's quite good. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to wait until tomorrow. I think there's going to be fireworks tomorrow. Big fireworks. I just want Luke T and Shanice to make it up. I don't care about anyone else. I don't even care about Finn and Paige. But I do care about Luke T and Shanice. I do want that to work. They've got something special. And I don't like the fact that people are trying to put spanner in the work for those two. We'll have to see what happens. So peeps, good night. I'm off to bed. Bye bye.